to today's vlog and we're gonna have a little bit of a theme to the video today did you guys know there's a game coming out you actually talked about this you're like i hate how silent nintendo's been about their releases and we heard about a game from our distributor who's like hey nobody's pre-ordered this game we're really surprised and it comes out on tuesday it comes out on tuesday and this is a distributor for nearly all of the video game stores and it is i don't know if you guys have heard about it either but we will talk about it before today yeah. did you hear about this new game i have not heard about this new game no exactly yeah i have no idea what's going on until this morning have you heard about that new game no not until this morning and colton's the game guy we're all game guys He's the game. but you're the one that watches like all the new like showcases and all that kind of stuff you're the one that's usually telling everyone else here about new games yeah everybody here likes old games and no. i think old games are bad <laughs> <laughs> i'm just kidding no i do like following up on showcases so i know it's like coming out and stuff but nobody else knows but i haven't heard of this game it like was announced last month that it was getting released it seems surprising that like no one's heard of it yeah because of the franchise that it's from yeah well and we we were just talking about it we so we mentioned it and i asked them i was like did you guys know this is coming out and like colton's like oh yeah like it was in it was in the indie thing and then we told him what title it was and he's like this was not in the indie <laughs> thing like and so it was it's like a different game it's a different same, game same franchise. from the same franchise that's getting released like in a month or two in a month or two and then the next game comes out or just got <clears throat> announced to get released, which is kind of weird to like be like, oh, this game's coming out, and then this game's also coming out, and it's from the same franchise. And that game is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Arcade Wrath of the Mutants. And this one's probably going a little under the radar because it's not, it's not in the style of the previous two Turtles games that came out. It's not like the retro style one. This is like a 3D action adventure kind of game, but Still, it's very weird that a Ninja Turtle game is kind of flying under the radar. We None of us had heard of this before, so it's really crazy. Uh, we are getting copies in, but I did not put up pre-orders because it comes out. By the time you guys see this video, it comes out in two days. So we will have copies for PS4, PS5, and Switch. Um, but it's just so weird that like we have just never heard of this game. And even our distributor, like Abby said at the beginning, was like, hey, nobody pre-ordered this game um if you want to get it it's coming out very soon so get your orders in and so i checked their website and i was like oh shoot i gotta order these so we will have them and i'm just heat pressing some artwork here for a fifa soccer 13 i'm actually adding this to my personal collection because i brought in this copy which is factory sealed and i'm replacing it I did that with a bunch of the games from the collection. I was able to replace um, probably like 10 to 12 games, which is pretty cool. We got two packages in the mail today. These are mail-in trades. We have started buying some stuff again. And uh, this is from one guy, this is from the other guy. So they're not in the inventory just yet, but I will probably try to get them in today. This is our second copy of Dead Alive on DVD now. But lots of horror movie stuff here and one Pokemon. And these are the Blu-ray. And then a couple games here. Not too much. Then we have the Starfield Xbox One controller. This is the PAL version, but they're region free, so it doesn't really matter. And then from the other person, we have all this, which is really, really cool. So we have the Cappy hat. We have a bunch of Donkey Kong and Mario 64 cars. We have the Mario 64 camera. We have some figures here. It looks like Donkey Kong is punching Diddy. I did not do that on purpose. There's a little Mario Kart cart, but there's no figure for it. Um, Switch Rubik's Cube, some little Animal Crossing Club Nintendo cards, this lenticular Star Fox Super Nintendo pin, and then a Zelda poster. And then we have all of these Nintendo 64 era plushies. And this one talks. This one also has a thing in it, but it doesn't work anymore. And I'm pretty sure that I have all these, but I know I do not have this one. So I'm, I'm taking this Bowser for sure. I also 
I'm probably gonna keep these little lunch boxes here, the baby Kong figure, and then this is Diddy with the plane. And then this is actually the cart that goes to the banjo figure, which I have at home. So I'm definitely holding on to those. The rest should be for sale. Although I'm gonna take the plushies home and just compare them to mine because there's so many that were released around that time. I may be missing one or two and I just don't realize it. So uh, these will these will be coming back to the store probably, well, today's my Friday, today's Fridays and I'm not gonna be here tomorrow. So they'll probably be back here on Monday, but this stuff I'm gonna enter today. What is this? Another collection? Is it good stuff? Xbox and PlayStation. Oh, I want Nintendo. No idea. Well, there's some Super Nintendo right there. There's a 64 game, two Super Nintendo games. These better be good. Mario Paint. Mario World. Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine. That's a rare. Okay, we can take it, I guess. I have no idea what's in the two yellow tickets. I don't know if there's one there. Oh, a bunch of PlayStation 1s. Ew, I don't want that. Gross. Oh my god, Cooper. Gross. Oh my god. No. Okay, PS2s. That's good. What kind of collection is this? This must have been from a reseller. He did make it sound like he was trying to sell it. Oh. Scandalous. Going to Japan. I want to go. I'm going to go with him. <laughs> if you guys do the trade, I'll be back. All this stuff for one Cooper for a week, however long you're coming. I don't think this will cover it. I'm too cool. True. He needs at least 100 more gifts. We sold the first graded game Woo! from that collection. Which one was it? PK Out of the Shadows? Yeah, for PS2. Mm -hmm. All the other graded games are still available though. Yeah, I honestly thought I honestly thought that a couple more would sell pretty quick. I think people are just getting out of like the grading. The grading stuff. things is dumb. It's a stupid practice and you shouldn't do it. <laughs> Yeah, but I priced them down. I, like, I have no, like, major opinion on grading. It doesn't affect me as a person. It's not a crime to grade something. I think yes, that grading is. is really cool if you are like, oh, this is my childhood copy. Because you can grade things that aren't sealed. Um, and it'd just be, like, it's cool to, like, have something, like, graded and sealed. By but then you can't play your childhood copy. Mm. Ah. I had to take a phone call. But basically, I don't care about grading. I get why people don't like it. I get why people do like it. It shouldn't be about the money, but I do think it's really cool if you have like a really favorite game that got signed and it's sealed and you want it to be graded by these people that are supposed to know more about video games than you do, then they want to grade it. Nobody knows more than I do. Um, somebody called the other day and um, we've had a few instances of this happening where someone emailed us and was like hey i basically got like scammed out of a bunch of stuff in my bank will let me do a charge back if i get a note from a um what did they say from an expert saying that these are in fact fake cases and i got scammed out of it because it was like 600 dollars, and their their bank didn't want to do a charge back and so i had to write a letter and sign it and email it to this person so they could give it to their bank because we are considered experts. And I was like, I was like, who? Me? Okay. So. What does that have to do with grading games? <laughs> uh, that we're experts and it, it would be interesting to like talk to somebody who is in charge of grading games because I, I genuinely want to know if like they know more than me. We are so experts. Oh my God, guys. I mean, the if bank, you, if Chase you bank need anything, if you need anything, if you want to know anything about video games, you know where to come because we are the experts. Abby's the expert, Colton's expert number two, and I'm expert number three. Oh, sorry, I meant to say Colton's an expert in number two. No, Colton is an expert and probably knows more about certain things than I do. 
I was making a potty joke, okay? And I need you to appreciate yeah, it. It was really crappy, so I can't appreciate it. You're full of <laughs> <laughs> So like we mentioned earlier, we are getting this brand new Ninja Turtle game in, but in the process of ordering that for the store, I noticed that our distributor had a bunch of new games up that we have not added pre-orders yet to our website for. So I did that last night. So if you are interested, um, the Turtles game, like I said, we don't have pre-orders for because it comes out like in a couple days, but everything else I added, we do have brand new pre-orders for on the website. There's a ton of Switch games, including Blasphemous 2 Collector's Edition for PS5 and Switch. And there's some other really, really cool stuff. A game that Abby is kind of interested in is a game, I think it's called like whisker waters and it looks like a little cartoony fishing game but you play it as a cat i don't know there's some interesting stuff in there so you guys should definitely check it out top link down below we have an entire pre-order category so you can kind of scroll through there and see what you want to get but uh yeah we're gonna be hyping up pre-orders and doing a little bit more with that once we move to our new store so uh you're probably going to be hearing a little bit more about the new stuff we have up for pre-order in the videos soon my staff pick for today is Sea of Thieves, developed by Rare. Rare. They make a game still. Um, this game is available on PC, Steam, uh, as well as it originally came out on the Xbox One, and it has a version on the Xbox Series as well. Um, I play on Steam because I don't own an Xbox One or Xbox Series, but um, it is a open world like multiplayer game it's a multiplayer only but there's um a lot that goes into it the the combat is very very fun you have your sword combat gun combat as well as combat um, between ships so you can fight other players it is essentially a complete quest to get treasure and then you get to cash that treasure in with the outposts and then you get gold and then you can use gold to buy cosmetics um, there's not a huge progression system in the game. If you're if you're looking for more of a like a level based progression, this really isn't the game for you. It's mainly about being in this pirate world and exploring uh, the different islands and completing quests and collecting you know cosmetics. Um, there's also a big story in the game you can do quests called Tall Tales and they will take you through small or a little bit longer adventures. Um, quests are pretty simple and don't take overly long to complete, but the Tall Tales are longer, more story driven quests that you can do with a crew of up to four players. Um, you, there are three different kinds of ships that you can sail depending on what crew size you have. One to two players, you can use a sloop which has two cannons on the side and it's pretty small. Um, two to three players, you can use a brigantine, which has two cannons on either side and um, has two sails. And then the um, galleon is for four players, has three sails, four cannons on either side, largest ship, multiple levels. Um, it is really a different game depending on what size of ship you're using. Um, it is very hard to control a galleon and one player. I have tried it, it is not easy. Um, but overall, the, the like I wanted to go back to the story really quick. Um, there's the own, their own original story in the game, um, where you have to uncover some legends of the sea in these tall tales, um, like important characters to the Sea of Thieves, like discovering some of the mysteries that have to deal with what this world is. But they've also done two really big collab stories: once with uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, and then again with uh, Monkey Island, some really cool uh, pirate franchises that have been incorporated into the Sea of Thieves. Uh, and it's overall just an amazing experience. Those two collabs are very well done. There's a lot of care that has gone into it. In, in, even with the base game, you can you can tell there's a lot of heart and a lot of, of, of just, people that really care about this world that they've created so they want to they want to you know keep building up this world to be great lately they have been dealing with some issues in terms of players not being great um so now is is kind of a hard time to get into it because there are just so many people playing um and then dealing with a lot of other players can be can be difficult at times but I think once they get some of these issues resolved, it'll it'll be um, 
it'll be back to at that, that point where I would recommend hopping on with some friends. Um, they are soon going to implement a PVE style world, which is going to be great. Um, you can, it's, it's essentially like an extended tutorial. You'll be able to just hop in with either alone or with a couple friends, get your feel for the game before you, you really want to dive into that multiplayer aspect. Cause that's really what it's about is that multiplayer aspect. There's a lot of cool things that can happen when you're encountering, encountering other crews and stuff. Um, a lot of, a lot of the game is based on your interactions with other people and the stories you make there, but the stories you can make by yourself are, are just as rewarding. So definitely pick it up. Um, it goes on sale all the time on Steam and Xbox. You can get it for, you know, under 20 bucks quite a lot of the time. Uh, yeah, check it out. We have some trade-ins. We got a, what's his name? Cappy. Uh, we got a, gosh, I haven't had coffee yet. Um, what is Rubik's. this? A Rubik's Cube. Cool. Guides. More guides. What's that? Oh, I'm just getting in your way. No, you're good. I uh, got PS3 games. These are from a mail-in trade. Fist of the North Star, Player's Choice Ocarina of Time. They have uh, some Fallout, Uncharted, Call of Poopy, and PS3 games. Monster House. Some of this stuff came from David, Cooper's dad. Uh, we also have Bratz. <laughs> we have Final Fantasy games. Shin Megami Tensei FES. Batman. Vengeance. Time splitters, I think I already said that. Manhunt, more movies. We showed Dead Alive. Hmm, maybe. We'll show it again. Buy it. I'll keep showing it until you buy it. Oh, God. Um, Pokemon, this is the Project uh, something red version. It's a PC game. Project and then Studio. We have, oh, there's a Silent Hill. Cooper thought I would want that, and I, I didn't because I'm not into Silent Hill, but I'll get there eventually. Minecraft, Call of Duty, Dirt. L.A. Noir, which has been ported the most times out of any game in existence. This Mario Tennis. And more Tony Haven Hawks. Skyrim. Yeah. Tony Hawk's Wasteland, American Wasteland, which I didn't realize was so expensive. We got Super Mario Bros. And then Streets of Rage. And then these toys came in. These were also mail-in trade. They're pretty cool. That's a camera. These are like little trucks. So there's supposed to be another piece, uh, like a truck piece that goes on this one, but we don't have it and this fits to this, so we included it. And then we also got some Donkey Kong cars that are pretty cool. And Cooper made these really cool tags as well. But super awesome trade-ins. Question of the day. I came up with a question. I guess I didn't ask okay. it. My, my question was, because of that TMNT game that came out, or is coming out, um, what if you could be any TMNT character, which TMNT character would you be? And I eloquently told them I would be the Rat Man because I don't know any of the TMNT characters at all. Um, but I would absolutely find four baby turtles and raise them as my own to become ninjas. You know the turtles. Michelangelo. And Jeff and Derek. Chris. Sloan. Bobby. I would be Leonardo because that's my favorite turtle and it's always been my favorite turtle and I was Leonardo for Halloween when I was a kid and I had like the fake muscles in like the little you know whatever Halloween spirit Halloween costumes or whatever yeah it's rad I, I'd be Raphael Raphael that's who I'd be uh the only reason is because that's what my Spanish teacher called me is it because you're a <laughs> no she just gave us all random names and none is Raphael <laughs> I would be Casey Jones because he's the coolest Ninja Turtle Vigilante. Oh, I was like, that is not and the name of a Ninja Turtle. check out this cool picture of my Halloween costume when I was a little kid. Bye.